This is the video review of the Century of Deformation Fire Rescue Corps Fire Warrior Team. This is the third part where we're looking at Not Groove. And this guy, I, I, he's kind of silly, but I really like this guy. Um, he's kind of odd as a foot, uh, we'll get to that later on, but as a, a motorcycle, he just looks fantastic. He has all this nice chrome on him, some really nice wheels down here. Um, he balances just fine, and he rolls pretty well too, even though this uh, kickstand will kind of uh, uh, scrape on the ground. Now one thing you'll notice is that mine does not have handlebars anymore, and that's because when the plastic went into the uh, mold for this, like, one of the handlebars I think didn't get enough plastic, so it was this real gimpy little thing, so, um, because it looked terrible, I ended up cutting it off, and because I didn't want just one handlebar, I ended up cutting off the other one, so, uh, that's why. But anyway, um, uh, to transform this guy is kind of interesting, and uh, when you see where this guy's going, uh, you'll think about a certain uh, Beast Wars or Beast Machines character. So the first thing you'll do is you'll take the exhaust, and you'll pull it out like this. This will let you pull um, uh, this section out here because um, uh, these are supposed to go up here, but if you just uh, put these up here, then you can't pull this out. Then you'll pull the arms out like this, and like this. And there's a little kind of ratchet point in there a little bit uh, that if you get the arms over, they don't uh, droop down at the shoulders much. But um, it's a little bit difficult to get it up all the way. You'll straighten out the arms like this. And then you'll open up these compartments here to pull out the hands. And if you want, you can rotate uh, these little chrome engine pieces here to give them some little blasters. And then you will just fold these up into the shoulders like that. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this back section here. You're going to pull it back like this. You're going to rotate it up. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's a track in here. Uh, you pull it back on the track, and then you need to push it down. And if you can see it in there, there's a little tab on the back of this section here and a little slot for it to go into. And uh, when you get that in, that will solidify up the torso. And then you'll take the uh, back wheels here, you'll split them apart, like this. And you're, you're kind of seeing where this thing is going now. You'll split the windshield down here and fold it down. You don't have to do this, but um, it makes him a little bit more stable in his uh, wheelchair mode because uh, then he can use those to uh, kind of balance. Um, you may not want to do that in case you're worried about this kind of rubbery plastic being uh, damaged. But anyway, next thing you'll do is you'll fold the head out like this. And you want to make sure that this tab here uh, falls all the way to his back like that. And then you will close up these tabs right here on his back. And I really like the way this works. Um, you'll see what this does in the uh, combined mode. But I really like how it uh, makes his back not hollow. Anyway, this is not groove in his very much so not groove motorcycle mode. Or, or robot mode. And uh, you can see the comparison I was uh, uh, hinting at earlier on where this is like if uh, Beast Machine's Rat Trap ever got another vehicle mode, he would look like this. And I kind of like this thing because, like, unlike Beast Machine's Rat Trap, he can stand on his own without deploying those little itty-bitty legs. And I, I really like uh, the uh, concept behind this because it's it's just silly. I like it. Um, and and I, I like to think that, like, oh, because it doesn't have legs, you can just go... And he's just, like, super agile on the road. He can't climb or anything, but uh, he's very fast as, like, a warrior or something. Um, for articulation, you can rotate the arms 360 at this ball joint, and you can rotate them in and out like this. You have a uh, joint here that can go inwards but not outwards, so I don't know how much you still get out of it. Then you have another one here that can go inwards and outwards, and then you have a, a less than 90 degree bend at the elbow. Um, you can choose to use this as a gun or laser, uh, shoulder mounted laser, or point it down, or point it up. Um, it, it's just kind of there. I actually kind of wish that the set didn't have it. Um, this is the head, and uh, it does have light piping through this section here, because, like, the head is this entire thing. Actually, reminds me of a GoBot a little bit. But you don't get any head articulation, and the light piping is very weak. 
Um, and it's just because this chamber is so large and the entrance point is so tiny. Um, you do get some waist articulation here and a rotation here. So uh, for, for what he is, he's quite poseable, but he is not your typical robot mode. So um, I know a lot of people won't like this, but I really kind of do. So if this is your thing, then uh, you might look into this guy or if not the entire set. So anyway, this has been a video review of the uh, Not Groove part of this um, of the Century of Deformation Fire Rescue Corps Fire Warrior Team set. Um, I'll be reviewing the uh, last two of this um, set in the next couple of days, and I'll be showing you the uh, really awesome combination that these guys have. Um, and I, I hope you will join me there. Uh, please subscribe.